Hello everybody, this is Mark with Shadow Wolf Designs here with another tutorial for you guys. Today is Adobe Illustrator. And uh, the way this one's going to work is we're going to be following a Pierce College assignment that is about a summer poster that you need to do an event, but it doesn't have to be real. But you must lay it out on a grid with at least three columns of information and or graphics. You must create some graphics on, of your own in the Illustrator. And that one's simple. Just make a logo or something to put in there. You may also use raster images moved from the web as well. This is an informational poster. As such, it will be text heavy. So this one, you're going to need a lot more text than pictures. Um, but you must have complete information for at least three events. Um, you can add any details you want. Now. The grid is something that's used commonly in websites, in uh, newspapers, and in magazines. But the simplest one to do, and let's see if we can find it, types of grids, column. And this one is a good example. It's actually four columns, up and down, and these two, or these three, are actually split in half and then the bottom ones are split in half. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But there's different components to it. And this is actually from the Pierce College website. But we have margins which are the area outside and in between the columns. And you need to have margins. Then you have or sorry, margins are outside that are the edge um, or between the edge and the content. Gutters are between the columns. The columns are the verticals and the rows are the horizontals. Now, the simplest way to set up a, um, a grid system in Illustrator is to go to View, Rulers. Now I'm doing 8.5 by 11 and I need to get my um, I need to get this into um sorry, I need to get it into inches. And let's go into units general inches. Okay, there we go. So we have eight and a half. Now eight and a half divided by three isn't a good one we're going to give it, we're going to pretend this is a magazine. We're going to put a half inch here, and this is just examples, so you don't have to follow this exactly. And then we're going to put two inches from that. Actually, that's a full inch. I apologize. So my guides are locked, so if you put a guide in the wrong spot, go to guides and then unlock. Then I'll let you select it, and this right here is a half inch. And then what I'm going to do, actually I'm going to move that back out to a full inch. I'm going to pull one out to three inches. No, yes, that way that's two inches. Pull this one out to three and a half inches. Pull the next one out to five and a half inches. Next one out to six and then this last one out to eight. Okay, we have our three columns. And that's that's how we start. But I also want to make sure I have a margin. So I'm gonna pull guides down and this is at zero. I'm gonna do a full inch on the top. And I'm also gonna do a full inch on the bottom. And I know I have an 11, so it's going to be right at 10. So we have margin, 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 and then margin. These are our gutters. We have uh, inch wide gutters, no, half inch gutters, sorry. And then, so also we want to put pictures in here. Now, the way I'm going to set it up is I want this top two inches for pictures. So from one to three, 
this is for pictures, and then this is for text. But you know what? I changed my mind. This top inch right here, this is going to be right up here. That's going to be one block, one grid block. And then I'm going to go a half inch gap. And then an inch. And this right here is going to be. So we're going to go a little bit further. We're going to go an inch and a half for pictures. And then the rest of this is for text. So right now we have one. It's sort of hard to see, but let's. Uh, I'm going to lock my guides. View, guides, lock. That way I can't grab them. We're going to color this in. So that's going to be where my title is, my overall title. And this will be like, for this assignment, it would be like events. And then put a little logo in here because, like the assignment says, you do need your own graphics. So a title, a little page number thing, to, or a little icon to go with the page number, that works. And then we're going to have one in here. So that's going to be one graphic. That's going to be another graphic. And then that's going to be a third graphic. Each one of these is for its own run. And then if you want, you can put another space here, another gap. And this time I would only use like a quarter of an inch. So I'm actually going to demonstrate. So a quarter of an inch. And then like a half inch. And that's for titles, for these. So then I need another quarter of an inch. For this is our uh, another gutter. So I'm gonna finish drawing in these blocks so you guys can see what we're looking at. So each one of these colored blocks is actually going to be a grid unit. Now another important thing to remember is that you need to mark out where things such as page numbers are going to be, but this one we're not going to have a page number. I would suggest putting a border on it. And one thing that's bothering me, because this is a poster, this is supposed to be a poster, and it's not centered, and that's bothering me. So I'm going to come in and unlock guides. I'm going to hit Control A to select all, hit V for my move tool. And then I'm going to come in and just move it so it says it's center. And I actually don't think that's center. That should be center because I have three quarters of an inch, three quarters of an inch. And that's at one inch, that's at ten inches. Okay, that's the way it's supposed to be. So I'm going to go ahead and lock my guides up again. This is how my poster is going to be laid out. This is going to be a one main title. This is going to be picture, picture, picture. Um, title, 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 and event information. And that's how you set it up. Then you just have to replace these with whatever you want. So you can go in, say I want my logo to be something simple. Really simple, because I'm not really trying. I'm just doing an example. So that's my logo. Really bad. It'd be a horrible company. Throw that in there. And I would actually want to make sure this fits in this box. That's important with grids. Everything has to go within a grid unit. And then I'm going to turn this to white so we don't see it. It's still there though. Type text events. Control A to select all, bump it up. Uh, let's try 36. So then you'd put this there. And obviously, you want to go for some sort of theme. And right now, this is actually could be broken into this is one and this is another column or grid box. 
then you would put a picture here, put a picture here, put a picture here. And the nice thing about having these boxes is, let's go get, say I'm doing running. Do a quick Google search. Maybe. And do images. Now I'm just going to copy an image off the web. So, open make a new tab. Actually, go ahead and close that. Open. There we go. I keep forgetting that Google's updated their stuff. So, I'm going to copy image. Go to Illustrator. Paste image. Now, I'm going to put this here right over. Now, I'm going to hit Control, Shift, and the left bracket, which is going to send it all the way to the back. And then I'm going to select our grid box. And actually, first I'm going to select this back box and I'll sort of align it the way I want to. Then I'm going to resize it just so it fits in better. I still want it to be a little bit bigger. And that's to ensure that it fills the spot. So I'm going to select my top box, and I'm going to hold shift and click this other box to select that. Right click and make clipping mask. And what that does is it makes a clipping mask, so it clips that out. Our whole picture is still there, but we only see that part, which is a really easy way to make sure this grid system works. But you can do that for these three things. Put in their titles below, and then just enter the text below that. That is how you make something based off a grid system. You have to line, lay out the grid with guides first and then do this. And just to make sure your poster looks awesome, I suggest putting in some sort of box in the background. We got our swatches open. I'm going to go ahead and come into Open Swatch Library, Gradients. And I'm a fan, actually I'm going to do seasons today if I have it in here somewhere. There it is. So I'm going to pick this one because I like that one and send that to the back. Now obviously this one would actually be a really hard one to get text for. So let's try that one. And that works well. I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize that and then come down in here to gradient. And I, I think I wanted an angle. Yeah, that looks nice. Gradient from bottom left to top right. But then just fill in the information. And this way you don't have any big white spots. But it's still based off of a grid system. And that's how simple it is to do a grid. And then, because the next assignment is actually based off this one. It's destroying it. So what you're going to do is, in your Illustrator file, you're going to take stuff like this. You're going to change it to a completely unreadable font. Not completely unreadable. You're going to still try and go for the same general feel, but I might go for something like Chiller and make it huge and then rotate it around. Because this is supposed to be more artistically inclined, less for the purpose of actually seeing it, and more for the purpose of awesomeness. So actually, the tool I just used to give you an idea, if you make a shape, come over here, it's normally the eraser tool, if you come down to the knife tool, you can draw a line through something and it'll actually cut the tool or cut the shape along that line and then gives you two shapes but it's a simple way just to sever something but you know you can set stuff off like that um, just screw around with your text cut up your pictures spread stuff out add throw in extra lines go crazy with it make it look interesting because Let's see, the purpose is, there's no longer a potion where information and readability are the primary functions. The primary pur purpose now is visual interest. If the text can't be read, that's fine. So, and she, the teacher has things to try, and actually the one I just did, 
slice images and graphics into pieces with scissors or knife tools. Try it. Do anything. Just be creative. Do whatever you want. Use all the tools you've learned. Go look up new tools if you want. But this assignment is really just tearing apart Assignment 7. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if it helped. Um, and again, this tutorial was mainly about the grid. But if it helped, please leave a like below. If you enjoyed it at all, please leave a like below. If you would like to see more of my videos, please click that subscribe button next to my name. Uh, if you'd like to see any other tutorials, please leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, this has been Mark. I hope you had a good time. Have a good night.